What are challenges to create tech tech graphics for blind students? Yeah, the most recent thing uh, in creating tech tech graphics is that they have to be understandable. And when you normally you get a visual image, so it is uh, presented in a book or in lecture material or uh, in any other way, but it is made for visual use. So you look at it with the eyes and you immediately see what the meaning of the image is. And this is the main point. When you don't use your eyes to explore an image, you have the problem that you have to explore it one line after another, one figure after another, and then in your mind you have to combine the image to one whole, to one complete meaning. And this is the main point of it. Then you have to create structures that are very good to distinguish, so when you just feel a figure or an element, uh, it has to be very well recognizable, it has to be uh, very well distinguishable from other elements so that you can easily identify the meaning of this element. And so you have to do this for everything on, the, uh, on one graphic. The other thing is that we as visual transcribers or as visual creators of tactile graphics, we always think that we can directly take over uh, ways or designs that we use for visual graphics. So uh, we use perspective things like uh, three-dimensional projections to a two-dimensional surface and all these things will not work for uh, a tactile graphic. Exceptionally, you want to show such things. Uh, so how a three-dynamical object will look when you uh, yeah, transform it to a, in a two-dimensional perspective view or something. But normally this would not work. So um, especially readers that are born blind uh, will, not, will normally not understand um, how an object would look like when you transform it in a three-dimensional way. For example, we've always heard that for a blind reader, a wheel has to be a circular shape. And when you just uh, display or show, for example, a bicycle that comes in a more front way to you, um, you always think, okay, um, we draw it as an elliptic shape the front wheel, but the blind reader will not understand that a wheel can look in a perspective view as an elliptic shape. They always think, okay, a wheel has to be a circle, and then they don't understand what this means. So because a bicycle don't have elliptic shape wheels. So this is one thing uh, you, have to, you have to avoid. The other thing is that you cannot convey so much information in a tactile graphic uh, than you would be able to convey in a visual graphic. So the density of information has to be broke down. This leads always to the point that uh, the mo most of the blind readers just complain about that tactile graphics are too complex to understand. So they cannot distinguish between elements, they cannot uh, recognize elements um, because they are too small or the overall graphic is too complex at all. So this is the, are the main points. And the other thing is that you have to uh, exactly, uh, I don't know how to say, you have to think about how can they very good follow a shape so that they can recognize it. So shapes has to be identifiable as a whole. So you have to follow the contour, the outline of the shape very well. So this is the main thing, the, the basic thing of all. Shapes has to be 
followable as well as possible.